Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library, where today we'll be doing a book haul. If you are new here, welcome. I have been trying to get my physical unread TBR down quite a lot over the past couple of years, and so giant book hauls have not been my thing. I changed the rules of TBR takedown, which if you're interested, I will link that video in the description box down below for you. But essentially I changed the rules and now I bought a whole bunch of books. So no longer is it really cheating, but it is definitely a future me problem. I'm gonna have to deal with this at some point. Luckily, a few of these I've already read, like I read them before I purchased them and wanted a physical copy, and some of them I've read since I bought them. So. I think I have about 34 books. Let's just get started. The first book of the haul is gonna be Talk Flirty to Me by Livy Hart. This was sent to me by Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany, who I'll link down below. This follows two characters who know each other but don't like each other, and they are both trying to get this job that is really important to them, and it's essentially uh, as audiobook narrators for an audiobook. <laughs> That's what it, how that makes sense. Anyway, it ends up being an erotic novel, and so they're in this booth together reading lines to each other, and apparently chaos ensues from there. We then have Holes by Lewis Sacker. This is the authortube chat book club pick for the month of february so if you are not up on that i will link the most recent video in the description box down below for you so you can catch up with me and kate and all things fun um we'll be reading holes and also need to watch the movie still and we'll be discussing that during our next authortube chat which is the third tuesday of the month at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time if you don't know holes is about a boy who gets sent to this camp for juvenile delinquents essentially and basically what they do while they're there is dig holes. They're supposed to dig holes for their character. Digging holes builds character. Except that's not really why they're digging holes. And you find out why they're really there as the story goes on. I then have the first book in Lockwood & Co, which is The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. I have been looking into purchasing this series, or at least the first book for a long time, uh, ever since listening to Leanne at Literary Diversions talk about it, it sounded really interesting. I did not realize that it was a mid-grade. It's like upper mid-grade, lower YA. Our main characters I think are like 14, 15-ish maybe? 13 or 14? Something around in there. They're so upper middle grade, lower YA. And it follows a group of three investigators who hunt ghosts. They live in this society where uh, ghosts are really prevalent now and only kids can see them and fight them so they work like with different agencies and they fight the demons ghost things and defeat them and save the world uh, this is now a netflix series uh, which seems to be very popular on the netflix i haven't started it yet because the series follows the first and second book and i want to read both books before i watch it so I then have Sarah Normal Book 9, Playing With Fire by Phoebe Rivers. This is a mid-grade that I've been reading for a really long time. I don't think I'm actually on Book 9, but I got this at the discount store for 50 cents. So I knew I would get there eventually. I think I'm on Book 6 currently. However, the Sarah Normal series follows a girl named Sarah who finds out that she can talk to ghosts and the series is just like her trying to figure out her place in the world and what being able to talk to ghosts means for her. I then have four books in the Creepover series by PJ Knight. I think I have 14, 15, 16, and 20. I am on book 13 currently, so these are technically, well, 14, 15, 16 are the next ones that I need. I got one that's paperback, or one that's hardback, three that are paperback. Again, got them from the discount store, so they weren't that expensive. Will it drive me crazy that this one doesn't match? Yes. Will I eventually unhaul it and then look for a paperback copy? Also yes. It's fine. The series is titled You're Invited to a Creepover and the stories aren't actually connected. They're all individual stories. They can be read out of order in any order. But each story follows mid-grade age kids who are doing some kind of a sleepover and something creepy happens. 
and it's a creepover. I then picked up Gallant by B.E. Schwab. I honestly don't know what this is about, but I have read multiple of Schwab's books in the past and really enjoyed most of them. So while I was at the discount store and it was $2, I picked it up. I then have Bewitch by Paige McKenzie and Nancy Olen. I have actually read this one before. It is one that I read previously and enjoyed, so I wanted to own a physical copy of. This book follows two rival covens. They are kids in high school and they just definitely don't really get along. Just definitely don't really get along. We're gonna go with that. And one of the coven members is murdered and the two covens have to learn how to work together in order to figure out who's killing the witches. Speaking of witches, I have four books in the witch series. Uh, these are graphic novels. I got volume 13, 14, 15, and 16. These are part five, The Book of Elements, volumes one through four. There's so many numbers in this series, it makes me crazy. Anyway, you may have at some point in your childhood seen Witch on TV. It was a kid's cartoon, but it started out as a graphic novel series. I believe they are originally French and I have been reading through these. I have been reading about one part a year. So this year would be part five. And typically whenever I finish the previous part, I will buy the next part and then just read them. A lot of times I save them for readathon so that I have quick, easy reads, but they are heavy and also really fun. I then have four books by Darcy Coates. Uh, Darcy Coates, if you don't know, writes mostly haunted house thrillers, but there's some other things as well. So of the four, I have actually read all four of these. I got The Haunting of Ashburn House, which is a girl who inherits a house from a great aunt that she never knew, and weird shit starts happening at the house. Uh, and then Gallows Hill, which is a girl who inherits a house from her parents and weird shit starts happening. Surprisingly, it would sound like it's gonna be the same thing, completely fucking different. I don't know what's going on in Darcy Coates's mind, but her stories are fucking creepy and I love them. And then the other two books are the first two books in a trilogy and they are The Whispering Dead and The Ravenous Dead. The last book is The Twisted Dead, which came out on the 7th which I haven't read yet, which I have an arc for, so I should have read it, but I didn't because uh, I'm a loser. This trilogy follows a girl who can hear the dead speak and essentially she has no memory of her past. She is running from people who have been chasing her. She doesn't remember who they are or why they're chasing her, but she's running from them because, you know, if people are chasing you and you don't know who the fuck you are, you're gonna run from them. Uh, where was I at? Oh, she can talk to the dead. And so the dead are trying to like communicate with her to help them move on. And so that is a job that she takes on is helping the dead pass on. Speaking of books I've already read, All the Impossible Things by Lindsay Lackey. This is a mid-grade that follows a girl who has the power to control the weather, kind of, sort of. She is in the foster care system and the story is really about like finding a family, finding your place in the world. I loved this story. It was fantastic. I wanted to have a copy for myself. Next is The Mistwick School of Music Craft, and this is by Jessica Cowery. I got this when I was at the discount store. It was $2. I have no idea what it's about other than I think it has something to do with a boarding school with magic that has something to do with music. Sounded interesting. It's mid-grade. You know I'm in. I then have Nine Liars by Maureen Johnson. This is the fifth book in the Truly Devious series. The story follows Stevie Bell, who is a prodigy at being able to solve crimes. And the first book follows her going to this prestigious academy where there was a big murder that happened 40 or 50 years beforehand. And she wants to go so that she can solve the murder. Does she solve the murder? You'll have to read the book to find out. But I love these books, so picked up the new one when it came out this month. A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. This is the fourth and final book in the Ember and Ashes series. I haven't read the fourth book yet. I was waiting for it to come out in paperback before I bought it because my other three copies are paperback. Um, it was at the discount store as well. So paid a couple dollars for this. Now I need to read it. Destiny of the Dead by Kel Cade. This is the sequel to Fate of the Fallen. This series follows a guy named what's his name this series follows aslo who is 
essentially best friend to the guy who is fated to save the world, uh, the chosen one, if you will. And in the first book, in the first chapter, the chosen one dies. And everyone kind of gives up and they're like, well, we're fucked now. The chosen one's dead. We're all going to die. The world's going to end. And Aslo's like, no, I'm not cool with that. And Aslo decides to take up his best friend and chosen one's mantle and try to save the world. The first book got real fucking weird at the end and I'm not even really sure what happened. It was a wild experience and I'm excited to read the second book. Also while the discount store I got Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I have the first book to this uh, which is Dance of Thieves and I already read the original trilogy. This is a duology that's a follow-up to the trilogy and uh, I was there. I seen it. Why not, right? We then have Babel by R.F. Kuang. I'm not going to tell you what this is about because you already know if you're here on booktube. Everybody's been screaming about this book. I have not read any of R.F. Kuang's works before, but I was on Book of the Month and Devesha and I wanted to buddy read this. It's the ninth. Have we started yet? No, but uh, maybe next month, right, Grape? Uh, so I bought a copy so that we could read it. My other book of the month book was What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. This is Kate Alice Marshall's adult debut. She has written mid-grade and YA in the past. Everything that I've read I've absolutely loved. This was no exception. I also read this and loved this. I, I can't, it, it's fantastic. This book follows three girls who when they were I think around 12 or 13 experienced um, a serial killer in the woods. Experienced? Ran into. You know what I'm saying. They came across a serial killer in the woods and he tried to kill one of the girls but she actually was able to live through the serial killer attack. And we get to the story 20 years later and we learn that one of the girls wants to come forward because the story that they told is not the whole story. And so the book is us trying to figure out along with everyone else what the fuck actually happened in the woods 20 years ago and the story was fantastic and I highly recommend it. Then I did a thing. Um, I have three special edition books that we're going to talk about at the end. Um, so the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books are all by the same author. Uh, if you have been around, if you were here for my wrap up, which I will link in the description box down below, I decided that I'm going to be reading a Brandon Sanderson every month for the remainder of the year and into next year also because there's plenty. Actually my goal is to read one Cosmere book every month so I will be reading whether it's a novel or a novella or a short story one a month and in the months like this month where I read a short story I'm going to continue reading on with the Reckoners trilogy because I had started that previously. So I got the I got the gorgeous UK covers, so I have Elantris, all three books in the Mistborn trilogy, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, The Hero of Ages. I got the bind up of the short stories and novellas, which is Arcanum Unbounded. And then because I was reading the Reckoner series, I got Steelheart, Firefight, and Calamity. Why did I not also pick up Mitosis? I don't know but I didn't. I think they only had it in paper or in hardcover and everything else I have is in paperback. I don't know. Anyway, so this month I've already read two because I read a short story and I read, um, actually I technically read two short stories, but anyway, now for our special editions. Okay. Uh, we're going to save that one for last because it's the special special edition. All of these are by the same author by the way. Uh, the first is The Luminaries by Susan Dennard. This is the Owl Crate Special Edition, which is blue, blue sprayed edges, has this fancy thing here. Um, this pretty dust jacket, some gorgeous end pages. I did not get this in the Owl Crate. I actually got this on um, Pango. I was like, you know, I really want that Owl Crate one. It's so pretty. I need to have it. Do I already own 53 copies of this book? Yes, but I needed it. So I went and bought it on Pango. Uh, speaking of having 53 copies, I also have the Aluma Crate edition. Uh, she's beauty. She's grace. She's fucking gorgeous in your face. 
I love this cover. It's got sprayed edges, which are orange with some, there we go, flower detail. A different gorgeous end page. And the cover, oh my god, the cover. So pretty much what I plan to do, I have a couple of copies that are like fairly similar. I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition and I have the regular edition and I'm probably gonna put this cover on my regular edition because let me tell you the fucking cover of this book. So you can't see it, but it's The Nightmare Compendium, which is a book that they have in the book. And I mean, come on. The Comprehensive Guide to Hemlock Falls Nightmares. So the book is decorated like the Nightmare Compendium. And if you think I'm not putting this naked fucking book on my shelf, you are sadly mistaken. It is fucking gorgeous. Okay. Girl, I was having a moment. I was having a whole ass moment. And finally, the last book is a book that I can't even read. It is the Chinese edition of Truth Witch. Um, Sue sent me a signed copy of this. Somewhere it's signed, I promise. Ta da! For Jess from Sue's. Um, so now I have 53 copies of Truth Witch. It's actually probably only like six or seven. Um, oh, it might be more. Let's see. The original hardcover the reprint hardcover, the new cover hardcover, the UK paperback, the UK hardback, um, the Serbian edition, the Chinese edition. I think that's it. So it's like six or seven. Okay, it's not that many. It's totally reasonable. It's a totally reasonable number of books to have. For sure. I, I just, I can't. Like, I'm, I'm so excited and ecstatic and just like the happiest girl on the planet. I've got an entire stack of Brandon Sanderson books. I've got special edition of Susan Dennard books and I've got a bajillion other books that I could read. Like I am so happy. I had a really crappy January and buying things made me feel better. And if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. Okay, let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these, if you think there's any in particular that I should get to sooner rather than later. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave your favorite emoji in the comment section down below so that I know that you made it here and you had a good time. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!